Welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, we are going to learn that how to create a drop down by using Tailwind CSS. So I already have set up my Tailwind CSS project. This is very simple uh, setup. You can see with the HTML file. So if you want to learn how to set it up, you can simply uh, go to my YouTube playlist and uh, search for the installation and learn from there. Okay. Uh, once you have Tailwind CSS started and running in your machine, then just continue from here and first of all i will create a div and here i will add options text okay now first of all i want to design it <coughs> so i need border solid border uh gray and border two maybe or one pixels <clears throat> and there should be a padding around it px should be five and py should be two maybe and i want a rounded shape of this border also i want to reduce the shade i think this is better other than that i also need cursor pointer when you hover mouse on it there should be a cursor and the font should be bold okay <clears throat> now if you click on that there should be a drop down that should appear <clears throat> uh i need uh, the arrow down svg icon that i could show on the right side so for that let's get the svg it has downloaded it but i want to get the code so let me open it in the vs code so this is the svg that you can simply use so copy it and you may post paste it here okay but the another approach is that you can just create a file here or you can use the font icons as well it's up to you Okay, I have saved it here. Now you can use image source source slash icon dot svg. All right, we have the svg. I need to decrease the width, which should be ten maybe, and it should have flex so that we could show it in the uh, in the same row and justify should be between so that we could push the icon to the right side and I think we should increase the width it should be 11 or maybe it should also have display block uh, we already added the flex so let me see so maybe we should try 200 pixels yeah this is fine now now if you click on this button we should display a drop down menu so first of all we need to design the drop down menu so let's do that i have created a div and i will create another div for the options for example account settings and here i will add the class around it and border gray this one and bg white and padding should be 
maybe eight and let's try so this is how it will look like right now but we have to improve it so to improve that maybe we should wrap this div in another div like this and i will move this drop down into the parent div okay and after that i need to add margin top as well <clears throat> or i think we should use the absolute and to the parent we need to add the position relative so that it don't use any other parent to set its position and after that i need to add top five maybe no i think we need to set the fixed value so under pixels that is too much 70 pixels or maybe 50 pixels okay and the width should be more than what we have right now so i will use w dash 400 pixels all right and the border is still not so visible maybe i need to set border one one pixels okay and the color should be lighter what we have now okay this is fine i guess and also i want to add some shadow around it okay that is also looking great and maybe we should add shadow to the option but before that we need to add the bg white to the button as well okay and i guess the box border should be lighter than now and let's try to add some shadow and see how it looks uh maybe small would work okay yeah this is fine after that now uh i think we should re reduce the padding a lot uh maybe four yeah i think this is perfect now now uh, we need to design in such a way that when you hover on this there should be a cursor pointer and also there should be background color on it so cursor pointer and bg actually i want to set it on hover bg gray light color so you can see it is being shown but the issue is that there is a padding on the left and right side that is making it weird so to fix that i will remove the padding horizontally so i will keep the p4 only for vertical padding and now i will add padding p x4 in this menu also we need some padding vertically as well so maybe let's try p4 here it will add padding uh, vertical and horizontal and i think this is looking good now uh, maybe <clears throat> we don't need any padding so i will remove that <clears throat> so this is perfect now now i will i can just copy paste this and i will just add multiple options like support license and sign out okay now you can see we have all of these options but by default i would like to hide this drop down so for that i would add a class hidden by default and if user clicks on this button then we should toggle this uh, hidden class so for that let's add on click event and toggle drop down i will define this function now and let me give it an id actually i can give id to this one and then with the help of this we will get this one 
okay so or you can get it directly as well so it's up to you now here i will create a script tag and in that i will define that function that i wanted to define earlier so function and now i will get the parent element that is drop down button let me add the id here as well it is i think it it's fine so here i will add document dot query selector and now we have the button in this variable i can register uh no actually we need to get this okay and we can name it drop down and now i can simply use drop down dot class list dot toggle and hidden so it will add and remove automatically every time so let's do that you can see that if i click on that it shows it but the problem is that when i click on that quickly it selects the text that uh, does not look good okay to fix that let's try to add some classes so here uh, yeah i will use selection none and now you can see it does not select and i think bold does not look good so i will remove the font bold class okay yeah now it is fine all right I think that's it uh, what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope that this video is useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified for all of my upcoming videos and also please like and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.